I'm going to just start by saying that uh, the support that this man and this organization is providing today means a lot to us, especially because if someone wants to make, a, make an impact or support others and they want to, to work and do something really valuable, uh, it is vital to have the trust of leaders. And he is a remarkable leader. He is exactly the embodiment of what leadership represents. He is helping to connect businesses worldwide to organizations, both uh, public and international organizations, but also he is doing that to guide us towards the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Our next speaker is Mr. Dan Thomas. He is the Chief Communications Officer of the United Nations Global Compact, an agency that he will introduce better than me, but I just can say that the factor of uniting the businesses with the SDGs is so important that his contributions are remarkable. His work in the UN during a very, very large part of his career has helped us to have a better understanding of the SDGs. And if you have heard about it, thank you so much, uh, Dad, for being here. Uh, and, and if you have seen the SDGs and all the work that the United Nations does, uh, you, you have seen the, the work of this man. So thank you so much, uh, Dan. We are really honored to have you here. Well, th thank you so much, Carlos. I'm, I'm really honored to be here uh, as well. Thank you for inviting me. It's such a pleasure to, uh, to join you from New York to, to talk to your audience. Um, before showing you an extraordinary short film, I'd just like to say a few words about the role of business in achieving the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and discuss a little bit about how businesses are incorporating the Sustainable Development Goals into corporate practice um, and setting uh, ambitious goals to tackle complex challenges. This is central to our mission and our values at the UN Global Compact. Um, a year ago, the UN Global Compact launched a three-year strategy aimed at accelerating business action to achieve the Sustainable Development Goals and more ambitious climate and sustainability targets. This new approach strives to move companies faster and further towards corporate sustainability and responsible business practices through specific measurable targets. More than 15,000 CEOs across the world have committed their businesses to the UN Global Compact, and over 3,000 non-business participants have joined to support our mission as well. That covers nearly 100 million employees who are impacted by this commitment to responsible and principled business. We operate in 160 countries, over 69 uh, local networks, which take our work to uh, the national level and business really on the ground. The private sector plays a tremendous role in the achievement of the SDGs. All companies, regardless of industry or size, can contribute to the Sustainable Development Goals. And for companies wishing to advance the SDG agenda, the journey really starts by acting responsibly, by incorporating the 10 principles of the Global Compact on human rights, labor rights, protecting the environment, and fighting corruption into strategies and operations. It requires businesses to recognize that good practices or innovation in one area cannot make up for wrongdoing in another. The SDGs provide all businesses and entrepreneurs with a lens through which to translate the world's needs and ambitions into business solutions. Today, we face a stark reality. The world has failed to deliver progress towards the 17 SDGs at the pace or the scale needed. And these shortcomings have been further exacerbated by COVID-19. For example, we know that it's going to take more than 250 years to close the economic gender gap and carry on at the same trajectory that we're currently on. There are 8 million tons of plastic entering the ocean. Global warming is expected to surpass three degrees Celsius with catastrophic consequences. On the business end, while the SDG awareness and action have been at an all-time high over the past years, collective corporate commitments are not yet transformative enough to deliver on the 2030 agenda. 
there's a clear need for greater ambition. For SDG integration to be meaningful, leadership needs to cascade down, impacting all areas of business. We must hardwire sustainability into core business strategy and decisions. As we emerge globally from these current crises, we need to ensure that business strategies, goals and plans contribute to the building of a more equitable and sustainable society, societies that will be more resilient to global challenges in the future. Towards this end, the UN Global Compact has launched a number of accelerated programs that aim to challenge and support participating companies to set more ambitious corporate targets and to accelerate, accelerate integrated integration of the 17 SDGs into core business management. Now's the time to make sure the SDGs are placed at the core of business, purpose and strategy. And our goal at the UN Global Compact is to move the needle from commitment to action, holding companies accountable to the highest level of ambition. And we urge every business not only to continue, but to accelerate this crucial work. The UN Global Compact is here to work with you side by side, uniting business for a better world. So once again, I'd, I'd like to thank you, Carlos. Thank you for your kind attention. And to leave you with a short film featuring some amazing leaders who can hopefully better explain the mission and the work of the United Nations Global Compact. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dan. Uh, it is a remarkable, remarkable work, and uh, we are just so honored to have you. And uh, now we're going to see more uh, in, in that video, but I just wanted to, to thank you again for being here with us. Thank you, Carlos. It's a pleasure. Thank you, Dan. As a human family, we've had an enormous wake-up call to how connected we are with a tiny little virus that comes along and shuts us down. We all live in this world together. The same blood flows in me and every any other person. We're facing the challenges of an ecosystem that is stressed. Things are not moving as fast as they should. Things are improving, but not as fast as they should. The challenges that we are facing, they are materializing so fast that it's not only my children or grandchildren which will experience the consequences if we fail. To do it, we need to do it together. Collaboration, north, south, east, west, you know, black, brown, white, strength in the diversity of the human family is what we need right now to get us past this incredibly difficult time. Might sound like it's impossible, but you know, that's what we work towards, making the um, impossible possible. 20 years ago, a small group of United Nations and business leaders came up with a visionary proposal. I propose that you, the business leaders here gathered in Davos, and we, the United Nations, initiate a global compact of shared values and principles which will give a human face to the global market. I always say part of Kofi Annan's genius was he invited business, but he also addressed civil society and labor organizations. The mission of the United Nations Global Compact is to mobilize companies around the world to align their operations and strategies with 10 universal principles in the areas of human rights, labor, environment, and anti-corruption. The UN represents the body that aims to drive international cooperation and drive peace and security for humanity. And I think it unifies all of society around this set of 17 goals. Our objectives uh, cannot be met 
if the private sector doesn't play an, a fundamental role. And so the Global Compact is a, a platform in which all those uh, businesses that abide by the principles of, uh, and values of the United Nations and of the Charter uh, to work together representing uh, the best of humankind. For the last two decades, the initiative has grown to encompass local networks in more than 60 countries, engaging directly with over 10,000 companies. The local networks are our global footprint around the world, and they work with us to translate the 10 principles as well as the sustainable development goals into actionable pieces of work for businesses globally. It is so decided. Since 2015, the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Climate Agreement have provided the most powerful common agenda that the world has ever seen with an essential role spelled out for business. De Paris pour le est accepté. Any business that continues to operate under its own self-interest will not be around very long. So businesses that have a strong purpose, that understand how they can make society better, will be embraced by society and will be around for a long time. Be the change that you want to see in business. I truly believe that companies who do not put sustainability, the SDGs, in their strategies, they're going to disappear. The mindset of consumers has changed. They increasingly want to buy from companies that are contributing to society as a whole. Business must be part of the solution in when we address these big global problems. The focus has shifted to both the short term and the long term, both doing well and doing good, making profits and making a change. This is a reality of the world now. Leaders need to lead sustainably. The United Nations Global Compact is leading the transformation ahead, challenging companies to take more ambitious action on the sustainable development goals. I think it's absolutely impossible to face the challenges of today, the very quick change uh, that is happening without having the youth uh, leading the way and helping us define uh, the right strategies, the right policies, the right approaches to address uh, the, the global problems. The world is waking up and change is coming whether you like it or not. The world today has got more opportunities than it has the challenges um, that can be overcome by the opportunities that we have. You find people in the most desperate of situations, determined to fight for a better future. That's the kind of world I want. What has changed in a very short period of time is that the narrative is different, and that is fantastic. If you want to have a good business, you have to mobilize people. Business is the sum of people working to something. More and more people realize that sustainability is really about making the pie bigger, better and more inclusive. I hope in the future, all businesses in the world will think about their own purpose. Business can only exist when they have a purpose. We've got to show progress. We've got to reverse what's happening. I see the Global Compact as an incredible organization working together with businesses to build a more sustainable world. We are united across the globe for the globe. We're united despite our challenges, no matter how daunting the task may seem. We are united by possibilities because this is bigger than one business, because we are better together. We all have the same job. We are united in the business of a better world. wonderful work the United Nations does. Thank you so much. That video was so uplifting and absolutely we, we need to unite businesses and, and organizations and individuals to make a, uh, not only uh, make an impact but also find ways to align purpose, potential, execution and also align the interests of all stakeholders. Thank you so much again. Ma